What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Was that doing the way? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And it's November now, so the dog. It's November, so it's getting cold out very fast. Uh, in the mornings, you'll get in your car. It's really, really cold. And Oliver, you make so much noise in there. But uh, it's real cold in the mornings now when you get in your car, and not all cars come with uh, heated seats. Most cars do nowadays, you know, in the, you know, the second, third, fourth up packages, whatever they have. But you know, the lower two, three, four. Oliver, I'm a oh. We're filming here. That's right. <laughs> That a lot of people have, they um, they don't come with heated seats. And it's honestly very easy to install heated seats in your lower end model car. And not only will it improve resale value of your car, uh, you know, it adds, it adds that touch that you need to get in the car in the morning early, stay warm and everything. The process to install is very, you know, easy and it's actually quicker than you, uh, you would think. So today we're gonna show you how to install heated seats in your car. Me and Ben are making, you know, videos on this. If you want to go check out his channel, his channel is in the description, right below, top link in there. Here we go. Yes, we drive the same car. My car comes with heated seats. His car didn't. Uh, yes, they're the same car. Uh, we both, we may both drive Jettas, but we don't drive each other. So we're gonna show you how to install heated seats in his car today, and uh, let's get this uh, video rolling. The first, the first one we're showing his car. You see in my car, as I show you in the beginning of the video, these have heated seat buttons. Uh, in my car, and his car obviously is just a lower end model, you know, basic, basic everything, but it doesn't have heated seats here. Uh, like I said, they're extremely easy to install. There's there's multiple ways to wire them, and uh, we're going to show you the probably the easiest way you can wire them today. Uh, I'm also going to tell you about the two other ways you can wire them. Um, if you're a little more experienced. All right, guys, here's what comes in your kit. Pretty much, you have two pads. Um, one for the bottom of the seat, one for the top of the seat. Again, one for the bottom and one for the top. Uh, these kits can be found in the description below. Uh, they're super, you know, they're they're relatively cheap for what you're gonna install into your car. Um, if you buy the next package up that has, you know, the heated seats and whatever, it could be a difference of $1,000. So getting pads for under 100 bucks is incredible when you know the next package up might only have you know heated seats in it compared to this car and you're spending you know two three thousand dollars more for that upper package when you can just do the same modification you know for under a hundred bucks both front seats they come with an upper and lower pad like i said the the uh link is in the description below um for this kit uh and here's the thing it comes with your switch your heated sw seat switch high power low power when it comes with that uh also comes with your harness with a relay. So everything is all set up for you. You literally have your harness uh, all made for you. Comes with your 10 amp fuse, uh, both sides. So with the switch here, you're gonna be dealing with um, location. Most of the time at work when we install these things, we'll drill these switches into the side of the seat. Uh, it's, you know, the most convenient location for the driver and passenger. Honestly, just reach, you just reach down, flick the, flick the switch on and whatnot. There's some customers who want it more of a, you know, new factory look. There's a lot of old, older cars that ran their heated seats right to the side, just like these uh, can be done. But the, the good thing about these harnesses is the switch wire is extremely long. And if you want the factory look of uh, being installed, you can also put them, you know, in your dash. So, you know, we'll be able to run the harness and the wire and the switch to the dash. The only downfall is that it takes a little more work because you're going to be peeling uh, your dash apart. So that's gonna be the first step, kind of figure out where you can put it in your dash, make sure you know how to take your dash apart. Don't get in there and start yanking. Uh, some newer cars don't have videos, and if you're gonna, you know, take that challenge on, be very careful so you don't break parts and whatnot. But most of the time there are videos on YouTube of uh, dealers or somebody installing a radio or something, and it'll teach you exactly how to take your dash apart. So I recommend that if you wanna put your switches in your dash. But uh, like I said, there's your kits. They're available in the description below. And uh, today we're gonna install these switches, if possible, in the dash here. We're gonna have to take it apart, see if there's any electronic computer boards behind there that we might run into a problem with. So we're gonna take those apart and uh, install these heated seats.
Okay, so we took this dash apart and the switches, and unfortunately, this is a this is like a full cluster piece. And in here, if you look closely through this grate here, it, the entire thing has a logic board, so you can't exactly drill through that and put you know the switches in these switches. Don't worry, Volkswagen, from the factory, you don't have to install your own stickers, so um, we'll do that. We'll take care of that for you. Um, now, here comes the more confusing part of the whole process. And I said, we do this every day, and to us, it makes 100% sense, but explaining it to someone new and, you know, a, you know, a novice of, you know, heated seats and doing stuff like that, um, it's a little hard to explain and hard to get the grip on for just a one-time deal. Uh, like teaching somebody to do it uh, repetitively is a little bit easier, but just for you guys, one-time deal to put these seats in is, is going to be a little confusing here. But different manufacturers run different uh, ways to connect the cloth or leather to the seats. So like say Volkswagen here, I don't know until we get underneath here, there's three ways plastic channels, the plastic clips, hog rings, which are metal connections, and Velcro. This looks like it'll be Velcro, and these will either be plastic channels and plastic clips, or they'll be hog rings. Ooh, not Velcro. All right, so here's what we were talking about. Here's what hog rings look like. They are, you know, little metal rings, and, uh, they if you don't have hog ring pliers or a hog ring gun, there's no chance you're going to be able to get that back in. Here's the other way people uh, connect this. We were wrong. It was not Velcro, but it in fact was plastic clips and plastic channels. So what we're honestly going to do here is because we're going to use this entire seat and we don't want to reconnect this or cut the pad in the middle and try to go around it. Uh, just for the ease of install, we are probably going to end up cutting this and uh, removing this channel completely. So this will no longer be, you know, tucked in and pulled down on your on the seat here. It's just going to be, you know, flat all the way across, which it'll still look fine and uh, function as it should. But uh, to ease the install, we're going to um, just pretty much be careful not to cut the seat itself. But we'll probably cut down in the foam here and cut the uh, channel off. See, here's your plastic channel that clips in. You just remove it, and those are the clips, and those are the clips. But this is just now all the way back, so we'll put the... You know, I just pulled one pillow. We'll, so we're just honestly gonna run the pad straight back and run it down the front and on the side that there is no plastic, uh, so it's tucked behind the seat. And we'll do the same for the uh, back of the seat when we get there. So when you take out the passenger cover here, you can see here's the pad for the occupancy sensor of um, this seat. And like I said, usually uh, when we install these at work, we will only put the pad to here so there's no interference with uh, this or any complaining of the customers and whatnot. This is kind of a judgment call to you 
So we're going to install this pad and we're going to slip it all the way back. And we're going to install it over the sensor. That's just because it's a judgment call and it's our own car. So we're going to do it that way and not, uh, not worry about it. All right, so the next part after we got both the heated seat and all the pads installed. But here's how the harness works. You've got this end that plugs into your wiring that you will hardwire to the car. Um, here is the thing that connects to the switch. And as you can see, it's long. So no matter where you put the switch, it'll be able to reach your uh, switch location. It's even longer than that. You can see it folds again and it folds again. So it's pretty long and you'll be able to put it anywhere in your car uh, where you want the switch. Uh, the next part of this is the two uh, connectors that run to the um, heated seat pads themselves. So pretty much the power is going to come in through from here from where you wire it in the car. It's going to come in here and go to your pads with the switch turned on. It'll turn on the switch, it'll turn the relay, let the power go through and heat up your seats. All right, so the next part is wiring these heated seats. Uh, there's a few ways you could do it. The easiest, simplest way is to run it, with how we're gonna run it, to your fuse box with an added circuit. This is a, uh, what they call a fuse tap, and you will stick this in place of a fuse in your fuse box, uh, and it will give you power, not only to what it is intended to run this fuse, uh, but it'll also give you power to your heated seat, which is this wire sticking out here. So that's the simplest way to do this because you don't really have to have any experience, any knowledge of you know wiring, fusing, anything. It's all right here. As you can see here, the car is off, no power, no nothing, keys are out. Uh, down here, this right here, see it's constant. The car is off, there's the car is off, there's power to it, there's power to it, there's power to it, and that. But if you go to the second row here, like this 15 amp, as you can see, there's only two volts, 0.2 going right now. But when you turn the car on, accessory power runs through that fuse turn it off and there's no more power same thing with all all these other fuses here like this one power turn off no power um, so the idea is to run it accessory so whoever's in your car doesn't happen to leave the heated seat on and it drains your battery that's why you need to run it to an accessory power uh, so the seats are only on it only can be on when at least the accessory uh, or the ignition is on uh, in your car both of the fuse taps in place whatever fuse comes out needs to go back in the bottom fuse hole We're gonna run the wires from that side of the car over to this side of the car and uh, get the harnesses all hooked up and uh, get the switches drilled. a little bit of time here we have I see a harness on that side is underneath the carpet with the two pad wires sticking out and that's gonna be the same thing on this side um, we have the wires running from this side of the car underneath the carpet and um, underneath the dash here to this side we didn't film that because it's kind of a uh, tedious process and it would take forever to film but you get the you get the uh, point here run the wires underneath the carpet so they're hidden and so here's the harness on this side and we'll tuck that underneath the carpet here and both power wires run up here into the side and they run up through here to your fuse taps all right guys everything's buttoned up here as you can see the car is a hundred percent back together both the seats are in everything's tucked and put away and like i said right now look at that everything looks factory just how it came out just how you, you know you put it back together everything looks factory except now you have heated seats in your car uh, like i said the two switches are there and we did as, as we said before we did cut this out right here this this channel up front but look at this the seat's still flat everything's still tight uh there's nothing wrong everything looks factory here um they said both seats are in everything is put back together gonna turn the key on so when we were backing this out when we were backing this out these heated seats 
heated up quick. The seats are warm, they get extremely hot, and it's honestly the best addition you can do to your car um, if your car hasn't come with heated seats already. Uh, let's say mine did, so I don't have to do it in mine, but we did it in Ben's, and it's one of the best additions you can make, especially in these cold winter months coming up. Once you have heated seats in your car, you will never want to go back uh, in a short video. So. I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please click subscribe. Like I said below, links to Ben's channel, links to the heated seats and everything are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Get yourself some heated seats and install them in your car. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.